What's up guys, JDog here from Seeker Host and today we're going to be going through how you can back up your world using FileZilla. Once you have got your server with us, you're going to find that we've got the FTP file access and we've got many other ways of doing a backup. However, by making a backup with a FileZilla, you're going to get a perfect backup of your world that isn't limited to world size, which you can get with FTP with Multicraft, it limits you to 2 megabytes. So obviously if your world's bigger than that, you're going to need another way to do this, and this is going to be how. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this for one of my test worlds, and first of all, you're going to need to download FileZilla. FileZilla is a free resource, I'll leave the link in the description, you simply come to this page and download FileZilla for your PC. Once downloaded, you're going to see a little something like this. On the right hand side is where it holds your server files once you've connected, on the left hand side is your PC files. So the first thing that we need to do is actually connect our server to FileZilla because this will now move, delete, or do anything that we need to our server remotely. To do that, we're just going to go ahead and stop the server first, and then we're going to go to Files, and then FTP File Access. I've covered up my FTP file access on the right hand side, but on the right hand side of your FTP address, port, username and password, you're going to have the information needed to log on to FileZilla. Your FTP address will be what you'll fill in the host section, your FTP username will be what you fill in in the username section, your Multicraft password will be your normal Multicraft password that you use to log into Multicraft, make sure that you put it into here, and then your port will be your FTP port, not your server port, but your FTP port. Once you put the information from here, into these bars right over here, you're going to be able to connect up to your server and see all the files up in your server. And if you do want to connect again, once you have first of all connected, you don't always have to put in the information, you can simply click the little button, it will remember all the latest ones that you logged into and you can quick connect back to them. So once you have connected to your server right here and you've got all the files showing, actually downloading or taking a backup of your world is very, very easy. On the left hand side, just make sure that you are on a folder that you want to drag it to. Currently, I'm set on to my desktop, so these are all my desktop folders and I'm going to drag and drop the world to my desktop to copy it there. If you do want it anywhere else, just scroll up and down here, you can go to your PC, different areas within your PC, and basically choose the area on the left that you want to move the world over to. So as we can see here, we have world, world the nether, world the end, and we want to basically make a copy of our world. To do this, very simple, we're just going to drag and drop it to the left hand side, and it's basically just going to copy over. It's not going to move the entire world, but it is going to copy it exactly over to our PC. Here we go, all done, that only took a few seconds because our world is quite small. Now if I go to my desktop, you're going to find that we have worlds, which is an exact copy of our world and an exact backup. Now if we ever needed to back this world up we can do the exact same thing. So we connected to our server files over here and let's say somebody has come and they've griefed the world and we completely want to restart it from our backup. What we can then go ahead and do is on the right hand side once we're connected we can just delete the current world that we have on our server. We can just delete that, we don't need it anymore. Once deleted we can simply drag the backup over to the right hand side and we now have a perfect world just how we backed it up just a minute ago. Obviously just be aware that the larger your world is the longer that this will take. It's a very small world so it only took a few seconds, probably about 20 seconds or so. However you can see that worlds is back on there again, we have an exact backup. And personally I find this to be the most reliable and best way to take a backup or restore your world and it's completely free to download and use. So thanks for watching guys, if you're looking for a Minecraft server head on over to seekhost.co, we have got a package to suit anybody whether you're looking to just get started with a few friends or for you and an entire community. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time, bye bye.